everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reefy Run, and today we're going to be doing another Deep Rock Galactic video. This time we're going to be checking out a new overclock for the Hurricane. This is the Mine Layer system. This lets you set down all of your rockets as mines, and then if anything walks across them, they will blow up. Similar to the proximity mines that Engineer has, except for these don't last as long as them. But you get a whole lot more of them. Um, this seems to be an overclock that is very split on opinions. Either people love it, or they dislike it. Um, usually for the, about the same reasons though, which I guess is a good thing. We get to plant the mines. The mines give us uh, an explosion radius that's decent. It's also scaled off of your area damage, so you want to build area damage for this. Um, you do have no manual uh, guidance system, or I guess you don't have any guidance system, not manual guidance system. Um, and you lose out on ammo a little bit. It's not that bad. For the build that I'm running with this, we're running the increased blast radius so that we have larger explosions on our mines. Uh, we have anti-tank missiles. Um, this one is just if I got to hit something directly with it, then I have it. The bigger jet engines is fine if you want to set up your missiles a little bit quicker or your mines up a little bit quicker. Uh, both seem okay to me. Faster rate of fire with the improved feed mechanism in tier 3. The zip fuel in tier 4 for that higher AoE. And then napalm infused rounds so that we have uh, inferno mines or burning mines. Uh, if you're not running this, stun is also really good with it. I like running that. But for this, I'm also going to be running the Bulldog Heavy Revolver with Volatile Bullets. Um, just with uh, faster reload speed, ammo, more damage on crits, uh, more ammo, and the Neurotoxin Coating. This is going to be our real heavy damaging gun. Once we light something on fire with either our mines or with our um, incinerary grenade, we'll switch over to the Bulldog. And we'll start doing really high damage to anything that we're hitting. Uh, the rest of the build is kind of standard. I'm running Born Ready, so that way we don't have to worry about reloading the Hurricane if need be. Thorns, just to ignore small things that are biting at me. Resupplier, uh, just to get resupplies faster. Dash, and then instead of Field Medic, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I guess, Heightened Senses for this one. I plan on doing this on a uh, Elimination mission, so... Yeah, there we go. Solo, that's five. Let's begin. Now comes the tricky part. Alright. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Oh, hey, there's nitro up here, too. Didn't even see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ow. Break my feet. But hey, I got a fossil out of it. So that means it was totally worth it, potentially. <laughs> Watch me get murdered by something that just runs up behind me and explodes or something. Now, uh, here comes some issues in that this build is not very good for dealing with, uh... Dang it. I need to shield up. There we go. Okay, let's just put down as many explosives as we can. This is not very good at dealing with Mactera at all. I would definitely not recommend taking this overclock if you have a Mactera Plague. We're gonna run over here then, and we're just gonna set down some more mines behind us. Set up some more mines here. This build also does work pretty well in multiplayer. Um, specifically if you have people that can take care of things or add extra status effects to crowds. If you can have people that slow things down with like the IFG grenade that Scout has, or if you can slow things down thanks to like the um, sticky flames, no, those are my explosives, um, or the cryo cannon, then the mines can do a ton of damage to pretty much everything. Um, it's also really good with like the sledge bomb. Oh, grab her. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily, once we can light anything big on fire, it's not too difficult to actually kill it. Um, let's try to get out of here. <laughs> Just real quick. No. Oh. Nasty. I see it. I don't think I can hit it though. There we go. Blue bomber on fire, and then we can kill it. The Magterra, I might just have to shoot normally. <laughs> Alright. Come over here, big guy. Alright, okay, this is a better place to fight. I'll do this Dreadnought, then we'll drag the other Dreadnought back here. Oh, hey! <laughs> Those mines actually did come in handy. I might as well just set all these up. 
right I'm now, right? Some of the ammo. Then if anything else does come through there, we got it covered. Ow. Yellow and Praetorian. Alright. I was born ready. Let's get this dreadnought started and we're gonna see what we get. Do those actually blow up? No, they get stuck in it. The heck? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's the twins. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to try to set up these. I'm going to try to light one of these on fire as best I can. Weapon ready. What the heck? Why is there an oppressor here? Well, the oppressor can be lit on fire. It does kill the pressers fairly fast. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit this one now. Can I not light these on fire? Did I take this on the wrong mission type? <laughs> it worked really well against the oppressor. I don't know if I can light the twins on fire or not. Maybe I don't do enough fire damage to them. Yeah, they're breathing fire back at me. How dare you? Molly! Right, more mines. More setup. Let me, let me dash, there we go. Molly, leave me alone. I got my little minefield set up over here, but I don't know if they'll fall for it. Oh no. Eh. <laughs> Might be easier to set up on the, the ranged one more so than the... Oh! Yeah, maybe. I still have to pay attention to the melee one, though. It's the problem. Thanks, Bosco! Yeah, thanks, Bosco! Fire at me. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab my other resupply. Use some ammo bag. Oh wait, that's right. My 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 lines just stick on the outside of the shield. Come on, Mayans, arm. Yeah. Arm and overcome. Okay. More mines. Maybe this will work better against like a regular dreadnought. It'll probably work really well against the, uh, what's it called? I was oh, I'm forgetting the other one. The Hive Guard. Since he has these little minions that will come out and try to kill me. Okay. Wait, was that actually counting as them being on fire? I forget how volatile bullets work. Fire? I don't think so. Alright, well, whatever. Dead is dead, right? Oh, this is just a regular dreadnought. Alright, I'm gonna lure him back to the room that we were just fighting in. 
This one, it might work better on than the twins. I, I'm thinking you can light this one on fire. Is he actually coming back here, or is he digging? Alright, well, let's try to set this up a little bit. See if he'll come through here. When he does, we light him on fire, and then we shoot him a bunch. Yeah, the AoE's actually working quite well against him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I was kind of right about this. Let's try to flood this whole area with explosives. We'll hope that he comes through. And yeah, there we go. More explosives here. He should be coming our way. Yeah, there we go. That actually did really well. That was all just this. That was no revolver. And he has to keep coming towards us, so... reasonable damage, I would say. Should I light him on fire again? I just keep avoiding his uh, shots as much as he can. Alright, that was super easy. So yeah, it does work much better against regular Dreadnoughts than it does against the Twins. The Twins, it was not... It was working okay, but the Twins move so erratically, it's hard to tell where they're going to go. You know, this guy, you kind of know which direction he's going in. Alright, let's get out of here. I only got three of the fossils. I see a few more, but some of them are just in odd places. And I think we kind of got the... The point across as to how good Mine Layer is. It can be really good. If you like this type of playstyle, if you like setting things up ahead of time, uh, yeah, it can be pretty solid. If you don't like that style, though, it's probably not going to be one of your favorites. Which, I mean, you could literally say about any overclock that kind of works this way or any way that they're kind of intended to work. all those down just in case. Oh, going the right way. I gotta go up and over. Still things coming. Stay back. Stay back. No, leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Making my way through. Drop pop departing in T minus four minutes. Um, okay, it looks like if I go this way, we'll be able to get there. Let's get Stick some more mines there. Oh yeah, there it is. I probably should have shot that a little bit uh, differently. Oh well. Set up some more mines. Also, you don't want to be shooting the same spot, uh, which is why I'm kind of moving around the mines. Because if you're shooting the same spot, you will just automatically detonate your own mines. Which is not the best. Did you take the longest way possible? Uh, 
willing to bet there's gonna be more things that pop up over here. Yep. You better hurry. All right, Molly's finally here. <laughs> Took a little while, but she's here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, there we go. All right, we didn't get hardly anything extra. But, hey. All right, well, that was the mine layer system, uh, specifically set up for the fire system. Like I said, if you wanted a more generalized system, you could set it up more for the stuns. Uh, and then go with something like Magic Bullets with all the AoE slowdown that it has. I like that build quite a bit with this as well. So you can kind of build it however you'd like. Like I said, this is one overclock that kind of divides people on if they like it or not. And usually it's for the same reasons, because you have to take the time to set up and you're kind of relying on the bug pathing more than anything else. If the bugs are taking weird paths, sometimes the overclock just doesn't work out that well because the bugs are just moving so erratically. Uh, it also doesn't work very well against flying enemies either like Mactera. So if you don't have anybody that can take care of Mactera, this might not be the best build to take on anything like a Mactera Plague. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't recommend taking this uh, overclock on a Mactera Plague. But on everything else, it should do just fine. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And tell me your thoughts on the mine layer overclock down in the comments below. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. And special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this. And if you would like to be a part of that, there are links down in the description. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!